Hi, I'm Nate with Average Jack Archery, here today to talk about the new Lockdown Saddle from Tether. So the new Lockdown Saddle is not replacing the Phantom, for example, in the Tethered lineup. This is just a new addition to their saddle hunting game, which is pretty cool. This offers kind of a one piece, everything is already here with the saddle that we didn't see in the past. If you wanted to have something like this, you had to add dump pouches to the Phantom, add a suspender kit to the Phantom, and there are some other upgrades to things that we already see on the Phantom integrated in with the saddle as well. So I want to go through all of those things. The first one, we'll go from the top down. We'll start with the suspender kit. The suspenders are an upgrade on the original suspender kit. You'll notice that I have the uh, chest here to cinch this in together. Uh, the webbing is obviously not just an elastic, but it's an actual web shoulder strap. And the back has a little bit of shock cord to it to allow it to stretch and have some give as you're hiking around the woods. So it keeps it above your hips, but it does have good stretch to it. This uh, will retrofit, as far as I know, with the Phantom Saddle. So when this uh, shoulder strap suspension kit becomes available, it will be a different upgrade compared to the standard suspenders that are already being sold by Tether. Working our way down, we get to the same Raptor buckle that we are used to, but I'm gonna skip past a few things to get to the other Raptor buckles. Here at the legs, we now have Raptor buckles instead of the G-hooks, I believe that's what they were called, that came on the Phantom, the Menace, uh, and the Mantis, the original tethered saddle. So this just adds a little bit of more uh, rigidity and a little bit more fall protection here. Those uh, leg straps in the past were not meant to be a fall breaker. They were meant to keep the saddle attached to you as you spun uh, through the uh, bridge. And I'll get up on the platform here in a little bit and talk about that. But these are really now also a little bit on the climbing rated side. So they still function exactly the same. You can still cinch them or loosen them depending on how you want to climb. I have them pretty loose right now. Coming back up top, like I said, we have the integrated system here of the suspenders. They just clip on and off. So you can run the lockdown if you want without the suspenders, although I strongly recommend you actually do it. The big thing here is on the sides, next to the standard generous lineman loops that we are known with the uh, Phantom saddle that came from Tethered in the past, we now have these integrated, they are not removable, these new dump pouches, but they're not just your typical dump pouch. They actually have a zipper, two zippers to be precise, one on the outside, and then they have the two functioning zippers here. The whole purpose of these pouches was to have a, a zipper pouch instead of a drawstring, but that you can function with one hand. All right, even when they're fully loaded. I like to, just in my playing around with it so far, have them right both up front, not both in the top. You notice I have the extra end of my utility bridge here. I'll pull that out so it's out of my way. I like to have them both down here in the front. So these are very generous. I mean, quite sizable, and of course they will expand. They do have extra pouch on the inside here uh, to segregate other things if you want on the inside. And then they do have the zipper pouch here on the outside. Same thing with the zipper pouch on the outside. Uh, it also has two zips, so I would personally leave them both up front, open, stick your hand in, pull it forward, and you get the idea. Don't want to close this one though, because on the inside here, as we work our way around the saddle, are extra stretchy bits, extra piece of elastic. You're like, are these for the suspenders? They're actually not. They're actually designed for the pleat in the back. So I'm gonna turn around and show you this here. So the biggest change we see in the lockdown compared to the Phantom of the past is now this saddle is pleated. So a lot of saddles have gone to a two panel system for comfort or a pleated system for comfort. And if you're a sitter in your saddle and you really like to actually put your knees into the tree, you can use the pleats of the saddle and it will actually expand and cuff your backside a little bit more. The pleats of the saddle allow it to scoop underneath your backside a lot more and you get a lot more comfort in a seated position. So that elastic allows the pleats to open, but then when you're done, since you don't have to fold the pleats back onto themselves like you do with other saddle brands, that elastic will actually pull all the pleats back together and you again can just go right on with your hunt, climb out of the woods, you don't have to worry about the saddle flopping around the back of your thighs. So we all know that elastic wears out over time the more and more you use it. So UV of course can also kill it as well. So tethered has given you a couple extra pieces if that's something you want to run. You can run it without the elastic. It simply goes in with the D-rings. You could pop it out and you could leave it like a traditional pleated saddle or not even worry about the pleats whatsoever. Never expand them and just leave it like a one panel saddle like the Phantom or Mantis of the past. 
Sticking with the main panel of the saddle, there is Molly absolutely everywhere. You have it up here uh, as it attaches to the bridge, uh, and then of course as it goes around the backside. So you have a litany of different places to attach other dump pouches if that's something you need to add, and particularly in the backside. Uh, but also of course here up front, I use a retractable bow hoist for example, and I can clip that right up here to the front part of my saddle, leave everything streamlined right here contained within the general sphere of the uh, integrated pouches, and I have no more extra footprint than I usually would. Another thing to add on the back side of the saddle, which I'm super excited about because it fits right into how I get out of the tree in particular, and that is the extra utility webbing that's on the back side. It allows me when I go up and down the tree, in particular when I come down the tree, to carry my platform with me. I keep a piece of paracord with a carabiner on the bottom side of my platform, and then I take that and clip it to the back side of my saddle. With the Phantom, I ran an S-beaner through one of the clips of Molly, and it was sometimes finicky, in particular gloves or in the cold weather when I don't have a lot of dexterity to fish that carabiner into that loop to then go down the tree so I don't have to drop my platform to the forest floor or run a second tow rope up the tree or down the tree just to take my platform safely in and out of the tree. You can still run the predator pack system and slip that back in there but I just didn't like fussing around with that extra pack as I am a, also a self filmer so I film all of my hunts and that extra pack was just some bulk I just didn't want to deal with. Having it clipped into that webbing loop on the back side gives me a nice open feel and I can clip anything to it that I really want to but ascending and descending the tree with my predator platform on the back that gets two thumbs up for me. So I'm going to step up onto the platform here and show you the last piece of the puzzle here with the lockdown that we haven't seen on the Phantom in the past and I'm something that I'm super excited is currently on the lockdown saddle and I hope we see it added to the Phantom potentially later down the road. And that has to deal with the comfort channels that are on the bridge. So in the past was just a loop am steel on both sides with the Prusik and then over here on the tag end. What we have now is we have it girth hitched around itself into the comfort channel. So instead of it being able to slip, I now can put the girth hitch on either side of the comfort channel ball and then cinch it into place and now it can't flop out of that. So let me get onto the uh, platform here and show you what I'm talking about. So when I actually get on stand in the comfort channel now, and I can twist my hips to show you, it's now girth hitched around this one and girth hitched around this one, which means it can't slide down out of the way. If I want to change it, I just add pressure back onto my platform and I loosen up with the Prusik side. It's going to be a little bit more difficult because it's not as much. Let's say I want on a higher comfort channel, which I usually run my saddle on the higher comfort channel. I can now slide it until both sides of the girth hitch get on either side of the Delrin ball. Do the other side. And now when I lean back into the tree, I don't have to worry about it sliding. That was a big thing. I would kind of have to like pinch it and hold it on one side, pinch it and hold it on the other, kind of fuss with it under my own weight. And that was never something I wanted to do. So now that I have it locked up here, this is exactly the kind of pressure that I want to feel. I am a leaner. I do not spend much time with my knees into the tree actually in the seated position. Now this is, as I tell people when they come into my store to purchase a Phantom or other type of saddle gear, it is riding a little bit high because when I walk in I ride it much higher up in my waist. So what I can still do is I can now loosen the shoulder straps to allow the saddle to go lower onto my body overall because I don't need them to support the weight of the saddle right now. Put the main Raptor belt, buckle rather, beneath my actual pants belt and now that entire saddle rides lower. So now I get the great pressure that I like up here and now I can also extend the pleats. So now if I really want to get into a seated position I can extend those pleats, let some uh, slack out there and now I can really lock into a very very nice seated position. If I had knee pads on or my backpack was hanging here for pressure release I could sit here like this for absolutely hours. This is actually that's actually really comfortable. For somebody who just said 30 seconds ago, I don't like uh, being in a, a seated position. This is actually really nice. But since I have that pressure on the upside of the band, I'm actually getting too much in the kidney. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up and I'm actually going to move it down to a lower position. Again, it's gonna stay in that lower position because I'm putting it there. So instead of being on the top position, it's now in the third position. I'm getting a lot more bottom scoop, which is exactly what I wanna feel because I'm gonna come down here and sit pull my pleats out to really cover my backside and now it's literally like I'm sitting in a hammock. <laughs> this is actually super duper comfortable. 
Um, I know I'm going to get questions about the second carabiner here. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this, even though this has nothing to do with the lockdown. Uh, when I do this is I will wrap my tag end of my tether around like so to get it out of the way. And then I will take this second carabiner and I will clip it onto the bridge. This is just like almost like an extra fail safe, but also it's a way to get the uh, extra tag into the tether out of the way. Um, but it's still because it just wrapped around here loosely, I can still pivot inside of here and still effectively use my bridge, still effectively use my tether and everything else in between. But this then keeps that nice and tidy. I can still lean like this if I wanted to. I'm getting a little too much bottom scoop, but again, that's meant for the seated position and this is not going anywhere here now with the new comfort channel system on the Utila bridge. So that's all for this video on the new Tether Lockdown saddle for 2023. If you have any questions about the Lockdown or any of the other gear that Tethered makes, we are your local Tether dealer here in Central Pennsylvania. You can always follow the links in the description below. Hit us up on Facebook and Instagram. Send us an email, averagejackarchie at gmail.com. Or of course, you can always leave a comment here on YouTube. Hope you're able to get outside, enjoy the sport of archery. Archery hunting, if you so choose, definitely enjoy God's beautiful creation. And we'll get to see you next time. I'm going to go back to sitting. It was really comfortable. <laughs>